reduce speed. Your car's been locked. Our car was literally <laughs> just locked. What's up golfers, welcome back to part two of our Olympic View golf vlog. Here we are on the 10th tee and it's another one of those blind shots where I can't really see, so I'm hitting a iron to just try to keep the ball in play. If you haven't seen part one already, make sure you uh, take a look at that link at the top right hand corner. You can see part one. Here we are up to date on hole 10. Okay, that was horrific. I think the front nine scared me. I put so many putts so far past, I just assumed that gravity would take it. Not the case. Left myself another 15 footer. <laughs> Didn't make it, so not the new nine we were looking for, that's for sure. Okay, part three. Okay, part three, pretty straightforward. It's definitely getting cooler out here. When you're blocked from the sun, it's uh, pretty darn cold. So I had it 170 and I played it 190 just because the ball's not nearly going as far as we needed it to. There was two uh, deer that we saw in the last hole in the ninth that were uh, here beside us. It was cool how uh, they just stand there. They don't, they don't care at all that uh, you're in their home basically. So uh, that was pretty, pretty fun to see them so close. And uh, we got a pretty long burning spot here, so hopefully we can uh, get apart. Like for you. It worked okay. No one's pulling the ball back because you're lined up. Somebody pull the board. <laughs> no, that was a pretty hole. I think with COVID, I don't mind putting as much no, with the I flag guess. in. Like I'm kind of either or. And I can't even tell for the vlog if, if it's better for the pin to be in or out. Maybe you guys can let me know in the comments if you're watching this Ooh. vlog and, and tell me if you prefer to see the pin in or out. And me, I'm impartial. I think it's nice to see a target, especially on a shot like that we just had is trying to show as much as the green as possible in the surroundings because it's a pretty area. But uh, I can imagine it's a little harder to see the hole when the flag is out in the vlog. But uh, we'll take a par there. Oh, I'm two putt. And uh, looks like we got a par four coming up here. Okay, this is a pretty cool looking hole. We're really tight in the trees, really small landing area. We had uh, two of our foursome go into the water here. <laughs> just not her best, but it's just amazing how cold it gets when you're not in the sun, obviously. Like, cool, sick fucking, uh, observation. Sick, sick observation, Bill and I. Um, <laughs> 
Yeah, it's so wet here that the vault just plugs. So normally in Calgary, it's so dry that we get some rollout, but here it's just plugging. So we got to look. I hit the fairway. Not a big deal. I thought I hit a good one until I saw the ball roll back about 40 feet from where it landed. I can't, obviously I don't know, I've never played this course before, but it must be a couple tiers because the ball is not spinning as much as that spun back. So it must have landed kind of at the top of a hill and it came back. So two putts aren't a given today. So this green is raised like 40 feet off the ground. <laughs> we got a big hill to walk up and then uh, let's go find this putt. What do you want? Um, a five. We're gonna pretend that first one didn't go in the water. So that putt was as hard as I could hit a first putt. <laughs> that was uh, probably my best two putt of the day. I need some looks at birdies, I guess. Golf's so frustrating at this level when you're just constantly fighting for par. So this course isn't overly long. It's just these greens I think make up for uh, what they don't have in distance. Just as you say that, there's a sign that said long hole alert. Oh. Goal to be done it in 13 minutes. Wow. 13 minutes. We'll try to uh, expedite this for you guys. Right, kind of a dog leg left here and I've been hitting a cut for the last couple months so anything left just doesn't really appeal to my eye anymore and instead of hitting it straight or starting at left side it started center right and cut right into the trees so hopefully we can find our ball here. Hard pass. If there's one thing I hate, it's having to punch out on a par five, especially the longest hole on the course. I'm basically where my drive should be. So if I can hit, I can, you know, technically I can still birdie. I'm at least 200 out. So see what we can do and uh, just take our medicine. That was such a bad swing. <laughs> you ever line up to the ball and you're like, I know my positioning or my ball position or something's wrong. You're like, oh, I'm just gonna hit it anyway. Well, that was that last shot. So got really lucky. That's that's golf for you. You get good breaks out of bad shots and bad breaks out of good shots. So uh, I'm trying to make par here. That was so bad. Almost got away with a terrible approach shot and that putt was just so bad. I've got like a, a putter shank happening, <laughs> pulling a lot of things to the left. I'm not used to having 40, 50, 60 foot uh, putts, so maybe I should start chipping them. I don't know what to do, but I've got a bogey. Morale's feeling not fantastic, so we gotta start doing something here. We gotta figure it out. Okay, 
tired of playing safe. Got greedy there. We'll see if I lucked out. I tried to go over some trees. Kind of another awkward dog leg par four that I'm just having a really tough time scoring with my five, six, seven, and eight iron. Hopefully I have a wedge. We'll go see if we can find my ball. Obviously, I've hit a cooler with my putter. I'm just, for whatever reason, not feeling comfortable, and these shorter putts are starting to feel longer. My contact is just terrible, so it kind of is what it is. Frustrating. Normally, I give those at least a look at the hole, and that one's not even close. So this hole is a pretty tight par four and I was told there's a bunch of water left so I tried to stay right. Probably hit the best drive I could uh, all day, like dead straight. And we were watching it to, <laughs> to land and it landed on the cart path, hit cart path again and then we didn't see it finish. So Conrad who we're playing with said that it might be close to the water so I'm praying that uh, we stayed out of it. So we gotta go find it here. Okay, we got super lucky on that drive for it to stay dry. However, that approach shot, you know, I'm playing everything different because it's so wet and lush here. All these wedges are just plugging. So I thought, I thought if I threw it in the air, it would just stop and it took like another hard bounce, which is so frustrating. So again, I was only 50 yards out and I got 40 feet coming home. So let's try to get a two putt here. Golf is hard. <laughs> what the hell, man? Like, it's just, I've run out of excuses. <laughs> Golf is hard, that's all you have to say. Stupid game. That's it, that's all. The sad part is, is this beer is so fucking cold. The way this round is going, there's only one thing that's gonna make me feel better. Tequila? Tequila makes everyone feel better. Good for you! <laughs> I love golf, I love golf, I love golf, love golf, love golf. Okay, got up and down, that felt good. Nice little chip and a little putt. It's like, oh wow, golf is easy again. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking roller coaster even on today. A uh, really cool look here. I'm looking at the green and there's a beautiful, huge waterfall in the distance. I can't wait to get up there. Again, pretty narrow fairway. Like there's not a ton of room to miss either way. Obviously we're in the forest. So we'll uh, just try to hit driver as hard as we can and hope for the best. <laughs> it's been working well today, <laughs> that, that strategy.
and all of a sudden your cart doesn't work. So our cart doesn't like us, and instead of just like putting a sign there, you get all the way, and then it says, "Oh no, you must go, must go in reverse to get out." It's like, hey, give me a fucking sign! Like, holy smokes! And we're like 175 yards out, like nowhere close to the green. So classic 90 degree cart path rule is that I get to my ball, I'm carrying three clubs, and I got the wrong club. So again, instead of going back to the cart, getting the right club, I decided to hit the longer one, try to hit it a little bit less. I really liked my line. I'm pretty sure I hit the green just to... Uh... Oh. Oh, we're going too fast. Oh my we're god. It took us Car 17 holes. Car will be locked. Reduce speed. Your car's been locked. Our car was literally just <laughs> locked. This... It'll be unlocked in five, four, three. Oh. What the heck is happening here? These carts are just horrendous. How am I going over the speed limit? Like, is there cops out here sitting with the... Uh... <laughs> Gun. Radar gun? Radar gun shooting. Okay, hoopla. look at that waterfall. Holy. Man, okay. After all that hoopla, we're about to get to probably one of the coolest views of the course, so I can't wait for you guys to see this waterfall. What a cool hole. That, uh, Jess is still getting some videos of it. That hole is so cool. That makes me forget about all those crazy, <laughs> terrible putts, including that first putt that I had. And again, I had to make another seven footer to save par. Here's the waterfall. You guys probably hear it right now. Uh, my GoPro won't turn that way, but uh, that puts a smile on my face for sure. And to be here with Jess, my wife, and my dad, I haven't really mentioned my dad much, but that's the whole reason that we're out here is they moved out to Vancouver Island and they could finally retire. So I'm so grateful to share this experience with my family. And it's been a lot of fun despite some uh, not very good golf, but we're golfing on a weekday and it's a mini vacation. There's a lot of things to be grateful for. And we've got the 18th hole coming up. So uh, finish strong. let's try to finish strong. Overall, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog and uh, let's see what we can do on the 18th tee box here. Okay, unfortunately, even my best two hybrid didn't have anywhere nearly enough to get there, so I had to play the safe route. So I just hit a little six iron down there, and I'm praying I can put a wedge close. Um, coming up here, you can see the beautiful clubhouse. It's actually such a nice clubhouse. And uh, hopefully we can get home with two shots, but uh, worst case, we should be at least set up for a part.
When I hear waterfalls, I think of Palm Springs.